For his funeral today, Lisa, a lawyer for his fiance, asked the judge to release the notes found in his cell. WBZ's Christina Hager has the story tonight at 6. Hernandez's loved ones did not get to see his final letters to them before they arrived at his funeral, but they were given the notes in time for his burial. This, the result of an emergency order some of his defense attorneys fought for in a Massachusetts court before they headed to his hometown of Bristol, Connecticut. They love him and they miss him. The Massachusetts Secretary of Public Safety read over three notes Hernandez hand wrote before he was discovered hanging in his maximum security cell. I would say some of them are suicide notes. His fiance Cheyenne Jenkins Hernandez dressed in black with their four-year-old daughter, his brother DJ, fellow NFL players Mike and Morkis Pouncey, along with members of Hernandez's defense team. A farewell to the man whose life of extreme highs and extreme lows played out in the most public of ways. He died five days after being cleared of two Boston murders. Family members say in his last hours alive, he told them he was optimistic about appealing the conviction in his first murder trial. We didn't want the ongoing investigation to be affected by the turning of the notes over. And um, I spoke to the judge that Attorney Earl would be happy to turn the notes over if they could be redacted um, so the investigation wouldn't be affected. So just as family members were gathering for the funeral, the ruling came from this court ordering the letters be released to them. Officials said some things may be crossed out to protect the investigation. In New Bedford, Christina Hager, WBC News.